Hello and welcome to this video about the risk assessment for a food defense system. Please keep in mind that the scenarios shown in this video are only examples to illustrate the general approach or standard procedure. Solutions and necessary measures may vary on a case-by-case -case basis. A food defense risk assessment serves to identify potential hazards and determine the likelihood that someone will intentionally adulterate products in your operation to cause illness, injury, or harm. It will also determine the severity of a hazard if it was to occur. The food defense system relies on positive and consistent worker engagement. Integrated Farm Assurance Standard requires that the food defense system includes a risk assessment for identifying potential threats to the safety of products taking into account risks from deliberate attempts to inflict contamination or damage. Procedures to mitigate the identified threats. Worker, visitor, and subcontractor awareness of the need to support food defense measures, ensured through training, signs, pictograms, etc. The prevention of intentional adulteration relies on observation and quick corrective action by responsible workers. So engaging workers in this process is critical. As with the other risk assessments in this series, the first steps are identifying the hazard, determining the likelihood and severity of their occurrence, and then identifying mitigation strategies. Here are a few examples of food defense risks. A dissatisfied worker may try to insert metal sharps into the product line or spill a hazardous chemical on the product. Visitors might try to place foreign material in the product to purposely cause harm. Effective mitigation strategies often rely on observing and monitoring people to ensure such harmful acts are not committed. Examples of mitigation strategies might be two workers are present on the sorting line at all times. Chemicals are locked in a separate location with limited access. Visitors are never left unattended during tours. Workers are trained to report any suspicious activity. Maintaining strong relationships with trusted workers is also an important strategy. Worker training programs have been shown to be effective and are a great first line of defense against intentional adulteration. Recently, the mitigation of cyber threats has also arisen as a necessary element to consider in food defense systems. The food industry is preparing to offer more guidance on this emerging topic as businesses are becoming increasingly reliant on technological solutions for their daily operations. You can find additional resources in the video description. We hope you learned more about the risk assessment for a food defense system. Thank you for watching.